it's the wonderfully crafted 3D glass rear that defines the Honor 9S look. Created using 15 layers of glass, a thermal bending process, and intricate nano textures in a mold that's replaced every 500 uses, the glassy, reflective panel captures light in a gloriously eye-catching way you'll never get bored of seeing. Yes, it attracts fingerprints in the same way it catches light, and it's sure to smash if you drop it on a hard surface. But it doesn't matter it's beautiful. The 7.5mm thick body holds a 5.1 inch screen, and weighs 155 grams, making it compact and comfortable to hold in one hand. The fingerprint sensor is below the screen, and it's the worst part of the design as you have to shift the phone's position to use it not good with a slippery phone. We would have preferred a rear sensor. On the back are two camera lenses, which are flush with the Gorilla Glass 3 panel, just like on the Honor 9S close cousin, the Huawei IP10. It's neat and attractive. A 3.5mm headphone jack is on the phone's base, along with a speaker and a USB Type-C charging port. On the side is the sleep slash wake key and volume controls. It's here that you see the differences between the Honor 9 and more expensive devices. The OnePlus 5 and the Huawei IP10 have textured sleep slash wake keys to make them easier to find without looking, but it's smooth on the Honor 9. Not a big deal, but the differences are there. It's also slightly heavier and thicker than the P10, but not by margins you'd really notice. The Honor 9 is phone design done right, except for one thing. It has a mind of its own, and will for seemingly no reason slide off even the flattest, most level surfaces. Please, put the Honor 9 in a case, otherwise its slippery nature will see it crash to the floor when you least expect it. A camera you'll want to use. The Honor 9 has a dual lens camera similar in ability to the one on Huawei iPhones and the Nokia 8, with a 12 megapixel color lens and a 20 megapixel monochrome lens. Used together they create detailed images, letting you access 2x optical zoom for close-up shots, and they can produce a blurred background for portraits, like on the iPhone 8 Plus. The difference between the Honor 9 and the Huawei IP10 is the lack of Leica lenses and camera tuning. We like the Huawei IP10S camera, and feel the same about the Honor 9. It's a camera you'll want to use, and it takes fabulous pictures. The interface is fast, the shutter release acts instantly, and the software suite for editing is comprehensive and easy to use. Slide in the menu tray from the side and there are various modes to select, including a manual mode, panorama, HDR, night shot, light painting, and our personal favorite, monochrome. If all you've used are monochrome filters, then the dedicated